demo working. She's working. Uh, I very rarely capture footage of her working. It's very rare, isn't it? Bye, shy. Huh? Don't be so shy. So she's just doing her work. Blazers. Busy at it all day. So I just asked Damo, what are these bones doing here? Here they are, bones. But they're not just any bones, they're human bones. Human bones here, so what are you doing with them? She said, oh, they're gonna, gonna bless them or something. But yeah, bloody human bones. So apparently they came with the soil that we had delivered here. So not only did we get our soil, but we got human bones inside as well. I wonder under what circumstances um, those bones come from. I guess we'll never know. There's no skull or anything, just uh, arms and legs. So Dama's gonna take them to the temple and have them bless, bless her. That's what they're like here in Thailand. But not many questions asked. Um, human bones. What is it? Well, we test the water with this little kit, don't we? Not for play, it's for test the water, isn't it? Yeah, it's for a new one, yeah? It's a new one, yeah. So, we got to open this one up, don't we? No, you get a lot on this. Well, wait a minute, because first we have to put the water in, don't we? So we take a sample of the water. Yep, we take a water sample. Right. It's a rain in. Now you've got to put four drop in. Four drop. Ready? Four, oh. One, two, three, four. Right, that's enough. Put the lid back on. Okay. And then open this one. Put that back in there. We, we want four drops again, Tis. Four drops. So the yellow one is testing the chlorine, how much chlorine is in, and that looks perfect. That's now, red. this red one, okay, let's take a look. We do one two three four right four drops and put the lid back on and there you just put these two on don't you put the yellow one on and then shake it shake it big shake that's okay big shake yep right now let's daddy take a look okay so the here we've got the chlorine is perfect yes yeah. but the pH is a little bit high, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit high. It's a little bit high. Can you see? It's about 8.2, and we want about 7.6 to 7.8, don't we, on the pH? That's yellow and that's red. So what we're going to do, Tis, is we're going to make the pH come down a little bit, yeah? All right, before we go and swim in it. Okay. Right, do you want to pack all this away now? Pack it all away, and you never play with this alone, do you? Yeah, it's not a toy. It's not a toy, and Daddy locks it up Daddy, so you can't get it. A That's a toy, and what's this? this Check the water. So as you can see, the chlorine is perfectly fine, but um, the pH, we just use some of this pH minus to bring the pH down a little bit. Uh, you don't want to bathe in it after you've just put chemicals in. You need to give it a few hours, like actually about six to eight hours. Um, before you bathe in it and the, keeping that pH right allows the chlorine to work properly and also keeps the motor um, functioning properly you don't want it too acidic or too alkali uh, it, over time will damage the, the pump and the, and the filter so you've got to keep an eye on it daily check it daily and, and I make sure the water's safe of course in a perfect world we'd have a salt water pool because then you don't, you don't have, have to have these chemicals around of course we keep the chemicals away from the kids um, and you know chlorine on your skin every day is not that great salt water would be perfect but we don't we don't have a salt water hot tub um, for sale here from from what I know anyway and you can't put salt water in this it will mess with the filter so that's it that's the hot tub I hope you find it informative I get a lot of questions on it but there you go so we take a little scoop like this yeah. like that 
Linda. Um, 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 it's, it's a heart. Okay, so more and more it's looking like we're making a little village, a little commune here. And uh, just to update you on what, we're, what the next plans are, um, as we discussed, this is kind of now finished. Uh, we're utilizing it. Uh, my bamboo hut's over there. Uh, and next week, we've got uh, Damo's bamboo hut coming, which is actually twice the size of mine. Uh, and that's gonna go in this area here. So it's kind of uh, like our main area is obviously the garden where we hang out and it's where we spend most of our time. We like being in the sun. We like looking after the garden. Um, and then you've got the kind of the one bedroom over there and one bedroom over here. Then uh, in the fur far future, in this, this corner here, is where I would like to build the tree house, which is obviously it won't be in a tree. We may plant a tree underneath it, but uh, the plan would be to put it on kind of stilts, a little bit like a water tower, and at the top have kind of a balcony and, uh, and an indoor air conditioned space, a little bit like a library, you know, with an armchair where you can just sit and read and look over this beautiful view that you have around here, this bird's eye view. Um, and so that one we're kind of working towards financially funding because I imagine it's going to be even more expensive than what we just uh, spent on the kitchen. Uh, so yeah, that's our plan. That's what we've got coming for you in future vlogs. Really good to hear that um, what we're doing here is inspiring a number of people and a lot of people have contacted and reached out by the comment section to ask to say that they're copying the design or they're doing something uh, similar and it's nice to know it's nice to know it's uh, it's helpful and, and things can be done on a budget things can be done uh, cheaply uh, if you can kind of get involved and and do a bit of the work yourself and and you know go for cheap inexpensive uh, materials so yeah we, we're happy that it's inspiring some people that's great so just check that beautiful pink sunset there and this is what we get uh, that panoramic view of sunrise and sunset uh, each day and uh, we can enjoy it all because we have this uh, open space and so you know one of the key things people have mentioned about this uh, this open front is you know the insects you've got to close it up the rain well you know honestly I will try and get some footage of it when it's raining but the rain never enters never comes in unless for some weird reason there'd be like side winds and even then, there's nothing that it could really get wet and, uh, and, and damaged. So we're not worried about that. I think you have to remember, like if you've never lived in Thailand for a long time, or you're a person that really needs air conditioning all the time, this wouldn't make sense to you. But in Thailand, remember, nearly every bar, restaurant and cafe is open like this at the front or has an area that is open like this, whether it be on the beach or by the side of a road, you know, outside of Bangkok, of course. It's all open plan like this. So we're very used to it after 13, 13 years in Thailand. Um, we prefer that outdoor indoor living. I prefer not having an air conditioning bill. Um, we prefer having the light come in. We prefer having the breeze come through. So uh, I think that's the best way I can kind of explain it. And um, we could add uh, one good idea that's come from some subscribers is you could have had like a, a closing mosquito net or so drop a mosquito net down. but we, we don't think we need to go that far just yet. Uh, let's live in it a little bit longer and, and, and see. But for now, um, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty perfect. It's just like sitting outside in any restaurant or sitting outside in any uh, hotel front or cafe that has an outdoor uh, space, just like that, or mama papa shop. It's all uh, outdoor here in Thailand. It's just, it's got that beautiful climate for you to be able to do that. So a really good use of these chicken cages is to keep the kids, uh, you can lock them in there and they're just playing there all day and um, yeah, fantastic use of the chicken cages, isn't that right babe? For the chicken cage you use them to keep the kids. <laughs> no, he, cl he climbed in there himself. <laughs> we didn't uh, put him in there. Oh, there he is going out. <laughs> Tess, Tess, what are we doing? Um, we're doing 
No, what are we looking for? What are we going to go and find? Fantastic. Treasure. Treasure. Yeah, there's treasure. So when you're hot, what does that mean, hot? It means you're close, but if it's cold, it's far away, yeah? Yeah. Right, let's go find that treasure. Come on, let's go. Yeah. What's this? Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hey, what is it? It's a tablet. Lol, let me have a look. What have you found? Tablet. Treasure. Treasure. Right, should we go and find some more? Do you want to give Daddy that one then? Yeah. Right, let's go and have a look for some more. What about this tree here? Can you see any? This? Oh, is that a small one? A baby. Oh, it's a baby. It's a baby, isn't it? But the Amazon find treasure. Yeah, she wants to find treasure too, doesn't she? Oi. It's Tesla Big Man. Whoa, let's have a look. Is that a big one? Oh, Oi. <laughs> oh it's melted in the sun. <laughs> that one's melted, hasn't it? Yeah. Right, let's go and find the other ones. It's a baby. A baby treasure. Oh, that one's melted too. <laughs> but what's this one up here? Can you see any treasure? Yeah. Big one. Right, give it to Daddy and we'll put it in the fridge. Daddy, in the, in the door. Right, I think that's all the treasure, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So some may remember our little episode on uh, mangoes, on eating mangoes. Well, those seeds, I took the seeds and planted them and these are the... Uh, the mango tree is growing. I've now planted about six of those here now. So um, it's really nice to have that circle of life going, you know, grow the mango, eat the mango, plant the mango and get a, br a brand new tree from it. Uh, that's one of the, the beautiful things of doing what we do. What's that? <laughs> Do you like it? Did you say thank you? Should we, should we play with it when we get home? Red and yellow too, yeah? Say somebody cap, thank you. Say cap, thank you. That's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, show me your somebody cap, thank you. Oh, that's nice, yeah. There you go. Let's take a look at it. It's a colourful one, isn't it? Yeah, it's colourful. Oh, look at that. It's like, it's like cartoon one, isn't it? Oh, we'll play that when we get home, yeah? It, 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 got, it got this too. You've got that one too, yeah? Daddy will charge it for you. Whoa! 